Greetings YouTube, this is the Shadow King, King Nazru, here with a review for Rosario Vampire, Chapter 37. Uh, we start we start the chapter where we last left off. Skune, the girls, and his cousin Keo uh, are confronted with a giant frog monster, uh, to which Keo is having a hard time believing since she's uh, only human. <sighs> Mocha, uh, Mocha tells Keo to run, and she does just that. And, uh, but it turns out that the frog is not an aggressor, uh, since, uh, the frog is being ridden by their old pal, the bus driver. We haven't seen the bus driver in a while. Well, I wonder what he, uh, what he does outside of just popping up when the gang needs them. I mean, needs him. Uh, anyway, the bus driver is riding the frog monster, who, uh, apologizes for scaring them. And he asks uh, if any of them are carrying a strange talking mirror, or if anybody knows if they have uh, that object. Uh, and as Amanda's way of answering the question, Kiao uh, keeps running while trying to understand what's going on, basically saying, What's this? What's this? What's going on? <laughs> insert, your, insert your nightmare before Christmas joke here. Uh... Then Keo uh, senses shaking in the envelope and checks to see what it is and finds out that the it's a talking mirror asking her to stop shaking her around. Wait, I, I thought they said the, the mirror was shaking. Uh, forget it. Uh, uh, and uh, the voice is coming out from a fairy who is emerging from the mirror and tells Keo that she is Lilith. Not to be confused with the biblical Lila, Lilith, who was a succubus. Uh, so, so Lilith uh, introduces herself and wants to know if Keo is her new master. Keo, uh, caught in shock and disbelief, tries to run off and tries to convince herself that it's all a trick. Uh, but Lilith chases after her. Basically, Lilith is going through Mr. Satan syndrome, where he's where she's trying to uh, comprehend and, uh, anything that's not uh, in the normal and mundane as a trick. Uh, Lilith uh, uh, calms her down and says that since Keo freed her from the mirror, she will uh, grant her a wish as her new master. Uh, Keo still doesn't believe that Lilith is a real creature, it is in fact CGI. And Lilith figures out that Keo's disbelief in monsters must mean she's a human. Uh, Lilith tries to prove monsters exist by showing one of the students a uh, true form, which is a bald man with three eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, the secret origins of Tian Shenha. Lilith explains that she can not only grant wishes, but also use her mirror to reveal true identities of monsters. Keo still believes that uh, this is all a fake magic trick. Boy, Keo is a real dumbass. Uh, but she's uh, intrigued by this uh, alleged ability and beckons Lily, I mean Lilith, to reveal the uh, truth about Yokai Academy to which Lilith complies to her wish. The bus driver, uh, meanwhile, is describing the Lilith's mirror to the newspaper club and says that it was kept in the human world for safekeeping till someone stole it and that he, uh, his frog is there to help him track it down. Mucka remem remembers Keo carrying an envelope and realizes that Keo has Lilith's mirror. Uh, back with uh, Lilith and Keo, Lilith keeps turning the students into their true form, including the Umbrella Monster, who before reading this chapter I thought was only in the anime version of Rosario Vampire and was just a filler character. So what the hell? Uh, the Slug Kid, Nagare, the Mermaid, Ta Tamau, and, are you ready for this? A Cyberman! Straight from Dragon Ball! So, we got uh, a Cyberman and a guy who looks just like Tian Shen on. 
I have one question. Why isn't there a Dragon Ball and Rosario Vampire crossover? I mean, Toei Animation, this is one of the greatest opportunities for an excellent crossover. Gonzo Studio is not doing anything with their anime. They canceled it six years ago. They clearly have no plans for it. You can buy the rights from them, do your own version that's closer to the manga, and have it cross over with Dragon Ball Z. That would make me ecstatic. Oh, seriously, consider that idea. So, Keo runs off with Lilith and slowly believes uh, monsters are real, uh, since some of them are as taller than the houses and there's no way they could possibly fake that. Uh, Keo uh, asks Lilith to stop, ma stop after making her point, but Lilith refuses and says she, wouldn't, she should enjoy all this while she's still alive. And while saying that in the same fashion I just did, she's starting to protrude her fangs. Uh, pretty much indicating that Lilith is not a benign fairy. Uh, from a tree, the, the mysterious woman who gave uh, Lilith's mirror is watching all of this and saying that Lilith's mirror has brought uh, great destruction, which she considers an art, a work of art. And who is this woman? None other than the art teacher Gorgon, Hitomi Ishigami who last we saw was working with uh, the safety commission to uh, kill Skune. Uh, Lilith uh, returns to Kyo after her confessing that she uh, believes that the school is for monsters and tells her the price for the wishes, which turns out to be uh, the soul of the master. Uh, Lilith says that she devours the souls of her masters because uh, her previous masters mistreated her, and this is her form of revenge. Mocha intercepts uh, Lilith and rescues Kyo, but Kyo doesn't uh, trust Mocha because she is a monster. Uh, then Lilith starts using black magic to make the monsters her minions, uh, so they can uh, kill Mocha and lead her and let her feed in peace. Mocha, um, uh, desperate to get Kyo to trust her. Uh, points out that even though she is a monster, she uh, Skune believes in her, and since Sk since she trusts Skune and so does Kyo, um, they should uh, be able to cooperate with one another. And Kyo agrees with this and uh, starts to trust Mocha. And Mocha manages to save them by using her agility to outmaneuver the monsters and grab Lilith. Then. Uh, Mocha uses the mirror um, to turn herself into inner Mocha, despite the rosary being on, and, def and defeats the other monsters. Now, I gotta admit, that was pretty clever of out of Mo Mocha to do. Uh, Skune is not around, and she can't possibly defeat all these monsters on her own as outer Mocha. So, this was pretty quick thinking. Very well done. Um, meanwhile, Skune is wondering if she'll, uh, if Kyo will tell his parents at Yokai Academy is for monsters and uh, force him to come home. And uh, Skuni and the girls uh, catch up with, the, with uh, Inner Mocha and Kyo and are relieved that they're alright. And Kyo is impressed by her cousin's concern for her and that he, he will go through all this trouble. Uh, then she uh, thanks Inner Mocha for saving her. Lilith tries to flee from the scene, but Misery stops her and threatens to freeze her if she uh, tries anything. Uh, then Ruby starts interrogating Lilith on who stole her, but Hitomi Ishigami appears in front of them and admits to doing it. So uh, Kyo says after calming down, uh, she believes that all, of th all that's happened is just some elaborate prank which explains why there's no map of Yokai Academy and the address leads to a parking lot and that the giant monsters are just special effects. See what I'm talking about, Kyo being a complete dumbass? Then the giant frog appears again and Kyo runs off in fe fear with the others wondering if they offended him. Oh no, this was a pretty good chapter. We're finally harkening back to some of the 
earlier parts of the manga, such as Hitomi Shigami getting revenge, um, further uh, establishing the overall point of Rosario the Vampire, which is unity despite differences, and we even got some references towards Dragon Ball, which I hope will inspire a certain someone to make a crossover. Oh, so, and considering that there's a whole monster is causing chaos throughout the school, you know what that means. Shit just got real. So let's see where that goes in chapter 38.